touch your string here to show you how to use the legs on the deadlift. Quick tips on shin position for deadlifts. We're going to kick it off with Chris here, 5'9", 165 pounds. Going over two reps of this perfect form and technique deadlift. Watch this if you're about his height and weight. And remember to click above his head to see his five plate PR. All right, we're going to start off with example number one, shins far too over. We're going to see that the bar is already touching Chris's shins. And what will that cause? When he goes up, the bar will prematurely nick or clip the bottom of his patella and it's going to completely stop his momentum or he has to travel in an S-shape arc, which is not optimal. Too far back, we're going to go into that. Here we go. This is the, a diagram of a typical deadlift form, which I completely agree, uh, agree with. High hips, slightly vertical shins, and look at the moment arm here. The reason why you don't want to be too far back and try to lean back to pull the deadlift is because the moment arm will increase if you do that. You want to keep the moment arm as short as possible so you're in a tight, strong package and in an optimal, optimal position to pull the most amount of weight. All right, so we're going to continue on. We're going to show you examples of the actual pulling of each form. Here he goes, the knees too far over. Notice how he has to travel around his knees and around back just to get back down. He's going to go out. Look at how far his moment arm is away from his hips. Very far away, causing his uh, lower back to round way more than it needs to. Now he does it perfect. There you go. Next time we go over the bench and the squat. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>